Welcome to Microbiology class. In this video, I am going to tell you about a basic microscopic technique called wet mound preparation. Uh, if you wanted to see microorganisms under microscope, you need a slide. And whatever specimen, whatever specimen, specimen may be urine, stool, sputum or any other water samples or anything. Okay, you can observe it under microscope and you can see if microorganisms are present in that uh, or not. Uh, <clears throat> there is no stain used here. So wet mount preparation. This wet mount preparation is a direct examination of the sample. Direct examination of the specimen. Okay, so for that you need a glass slide, a clean glass slide is required and uh, your specimen will be there. You take a drop of the specimen. For taking the drop of the specimen, in microbiology laboratory, we have a, a small uh, instrument known as a wire loop or inoculation wire loop. So using this inoculation wire loop, you take a drop of the specimen and put it on the slide. You put it on the slide and put a cover slip on top of it. Cover slip, a glass cover slip on top of it. Just uh, slightly press it and keep it under microscope and you, you can see. So in this there is no stain used and the sample is watery. You are keeping a slide and on top of the slide you are keeping a drop of the specimen and drop on top of it you are keeping a cover slip, glass cover slip. Okay, that after that you are observing it under microscope. This you can focus it under 10x objective, that is low power objective or high power objective. Okay. You cannot focus it under uh, oil immersion, 100x objective, it is difficult to focus. So normally it is focused under 10x and 40x uh, objective, you can see the image. Normally this uh, wet mount preparation is used to uh, see the motility of microorganisms. If there are live organisms present, you can see the movement of uh, the organisms. Another purpose of this wet mount preparation is stool examination. Uh, in the stool sample, uh, there will be a lot of uh, egg or cyst or larvae of the worms present in the intestine may be present. So for the diagnosis of this helminthic infections like uh, round worm, hook worm, pin worm, tape worm, amoebiasis, okay, that type of parasitic infections can be detected by this stool examination. For diagnosis of that parasitic infections, we do stool examination. For stool examination, we do this wet mount preparation okay so wet mount preparation when you are doing it under uh, uh, when you are doing it for a microscopic examination you have to take care of uh, the sample uh, spill you have to avoid spillage of the sp uh, specimens and samples and uh, normal sterilization procedures also should be followed to avoid contamination to avoid a, a spreading of infection we have to do the sterilization procedure this wire loop is normally sterilized by a procedure called flaming. For that a Bunsen burner or a gas burner may be present. Using that burner we will sterilize the wire loop by flaming. Okay, So that is that procedure is known as a wet mount preparation. Followed by this uh, you will be able to see a uh, video where uh, they will be explaining how you will perform a wet mount preparation. Okay, So wet mount preparation is an easy procedure. Uh, there is no, it is an unstained preparation, there is no stain used. If there are color, colorful organisms are there or colored organisms are there, you can see them under microscope very clearly. If uh, they are colorless, it is difficult to see them. You have to adjust the light contrast, then you can see the microorganisms. A very common procedure. It is used to, to uh, identify the movement of bacteria, identification of cyst, larvae and egg of helminths. Even sperm motility can be uh, seen by this wet mount preparation. Okay, So see this video followed by this. Uh, there is a video. See that and uh, you can there will be some uh, some differences uh, from our procedure and their procedure. But basic procedure is same. Wet mount preparation. Thank you. In this training video, you will learn the proper technique to perform a wet mount. For this procedure, you will need the following materials and equipment. Personal protective equipment, a sharps container, a biological waste container and bag, 
sterile microscope slides, sterile pipettes, glass cover slips, and a pencil or slide marker. We will be using a vaginal sample in this video to perform a wet mount, detect motility, and identify Trichomonas vaginalis. A vaginal sample should be taken to the laboratory for examination within 15 minutes. To begin the procedure, use a sterile pipette to remove one drop or 10 microliters of the specimen from the collection tube. Place the drop on a sterile labeled microscope slide. Carefully, place a cover slip over the drop of the specimen on the slide. Place the microscope slide on the stage of a bright field microscope. Focus the microscope using low light and the 10x low power objective. Scan the entire microscope slide, reading at least 10 fields using an S-shaped viewing pattern. As you look at the specimen under the 10x objective, you may notice some movement. Switch to the 40x objective to identify if what you are seeing is trichomonas. Trichomonas will appear as motile pear-shaped protozoans approximately 10 to 20 micrometers in size. In fresh specimens, trichomonas move by whipping their flagella and or undulating membrane. Another structure called the oxostyle helps the organism attach to the vaginal wall. As you move around, you can see some trichomonas start to round up and begin to die. This is why it is important to view the slide within a 15 minute time frame. It's important to also report other objects seen in a wet mount such as squamous epithelial cells, clue cells, white blood cells, red blood cells, and yeast. These findings are important to the physician to rule out infection.